What happened to Matt Harvey from your perspective, Keith? Well, I think a lot of the surgeries uh, did him in. Um, I think that if he hadn't had the, uh, you know, he's had the two shoulders uh, with the, the, and um, the thoracic, and which no one knows anything about. It's it, it's it's a, it's an injury that's that's rough. It's obvious to me what I saw this year. He's not the same pitcher. He's not the guy that's going to throw 97, 98 miles an hour and throw a 92 mile an hour slider anymore. That may come back. I don't know, but it's not there right now. He has to learn to pitch, and uh, I do think that he made things a lot more difficult for him. You know, you, my dad always said, you know, and I may have this wrong. You know, you meet the same people on the way down as you do on the way up or is it on the way up on the you meet the same people on the way down and boy uh the sharks were uh circling and um he just he just made it difficult for himself and then hopefully it's been a humbling experience for him you know it's okay to fail i failed that makes you stronger you just okay what what do you want to do you want to just fold your tent and go away uh, fine and do that then but are you going to dig in and I say I'm going to make it back. And he's got a new he's got a new uh, environment now. He's going to be with the Reds. Uh, I think he needed to get out of New York hmm. and uh, start fresh. And we'll see how he goes. And uh, the Mets as a whole, Mickey Calloway at 11 and one, and then you know obviously the low hanging fruit. Everyone likes to make fun. The back pages today, in particular, are pretty brutal about the mixed up lineup. Uh, what can you say about the the Mets this year so far, Keith, uh, and their chances to try and bounce back this year? Well, uh, they've got as good a two starters uh, in Syndergaard and DeGrom at the top. But, you you know, they can – 32 starts a year, that's only 64 games. The back end of the rotation hasn't lived up to it. Matz has struggled, although he threw good his last time. Wheeler has struggled, and he threw good yesterday. Um, Consistency. Vargas has not pitched well at all, and uh, he's been getting hammered. Uh, if they don't, those three guys don't pick it up, uh, it's going to be a tough haul for the team. It's a, it's a veteran lineup. They're not hitting right now. I think they will hit. Conforto's been struggling. That's a little bit baffling uh, for me. I, he's got such great talent, such a beautiful swing, you know. But it's a funny game, uh, you know. And uh, my life kind of, you look at my career early. I had a good year, then a bad year, then a great year, then you know. So. Uh, it's a funny game, and it's all a lot of it's mental, and that's what I try to put forth in the book. Uh, but I think uh, if they don't get that pitching from the rotation, the back end of that rotation, and I'm talking about three of them, it's going to be a tough haul for them. Um, but I like the fact that we picked up Mezzarocco. I think he. I talked to him yesterday. He's healthy. He's uh, he's had those surgeries on his both hips. He said he's never felt better. Uh, he really is wonderful behind the plate. He really kind of urged, uh, exhorted a Wheeler along yesterday, and Wheeler threw terrific. So well, we'll see. Uh, it's a long season. Uh, I know Met fans go up and down, and you know, they're ready to jump off a bridge, And uh, but uh, it's, it's a lot of season left, but they're going to have to get the pitching. Pitching always is the name of the game. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern, on Audience.